What's going on guys? Use 2.1 here and welcome to today's unboxing video. So 2019 is among us in the Hot Wheels world. I mean it's still 2018 now but 2019 cars are starting to hit the stores and just the other day I went to a local Myers and found some 2019 A case cars. I only got those for Christmas so they will be appearing in an upcoming unboxing video but after the A case started showing up, the B case started showing up. But I thought I had to wait a little while to get main lines, but apparently the B case showed up at a local Kroger's by David Michelson. He found these cars and happened to pick them up for me. Also, he did find another rather older car that I've been trying to find for a little while and almost bought off eBay. But with that said, let's take a look at the cars I got. So all new for 2019, we got the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro. Another really desirable car is the Nissan Skyline GTR BN R34. And well, as I mentioned, another older car that showed up, the McLaren P1 from the Cars and Donuts series. But so with that said, let's take a look at the first car. The 1984 Audi Sport Quattro. So let's take a look in the package. So a nice detailed pick of the car itself. Hot Wheels, new for 2019. 43 out of 250. They've kind of reduced the amount of cars they have this year. Because I know in 2018 they had about 300. Now it's only 200. Guaranteed for life. 7 out of 10 for Baja Blazers. An 84 Audi Sport Quattro, you just three it up. Case coating, as I mentioned, it's a B case. An E4 Audi Sport Quattro. And since a new car, we have something to read. Born 1984, Ingolstadt, Germany. Designer, Audi AG. Digging with all four wheels for ultimate traction. This turbocharged world champion rally car rules on every road services and in any kind of weather. Only 214 of these cars built, guaranteeing the Audi Sport Quattro's place in race car history. Uh, I happen to say I'm a Lancia guy though, but still love the Audi Sport Quattro. Baja Blazers, built for endurance and performance no matter what terrain. Blue Yard was collection, 2017 Mattel, Castrol, Mattel again, Marco. But with that said, let's open this beauty up. Well, here's the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro out of the package. And to say, it is a beautiful car. Still not as beautiful as the Lancia 037 Sternale, but still. I would really like to get another one of these and paint it red, because it's one of my favorite color schemes for this car. So sick looking, though. Wheels. I don't know what you call these, but they're really cool looking. It's outlined in white. 1984 Audi Sport Quattro, 2018 Mattel, made in Malaysia. So you have Quattro, Castrol, Hot Wheels. Number four, this is Hot Wheels Team Challenge. Audi, Audi Sport, some stripes. The bonnet. I don't quite know what this is. It might be a might be a scoop. I don't know. Front, you have the Audi logo and the headlights. We also do have some indicators in the side and some vents in the front. We also have a nice big front splitter on the car. Still same as the other side. Back, we have a spoiler. Taillights are not detailed, unfortunately. Dual exhaust. The interior looks pretty detailed in there. Hot Wheels is getting really good at detailing the interiors. I think we have a roll cage in there. Yep, we have a roll cage. But that is it for the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro. So let's go on to the next car. As I mentioned, this car is going to be very desirable. The Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34. I might have mentioned this is also the super for this case. Really do hope I find a super, but it's very, very unlikely that I will. But anyway, nice detail pick of the R34. Hot wheels, guaranteed for life. 45 out of 250. 2 out of 5, Nissan. 
This guy legs here will be number 34, age 3 and up. Case Coonan, it's a B case as I mentioned. This is Scanlon GGR, or BNR34, Nissan. Two out of five. Rev up the party. Nissan and the Hot Wheels celebrate the 50th birthday of two sports cars legends, the Z and the GTR. Especially, I can't wait to get the 300ZX Z32 from the series. Darn, do I love that car. It's so beautiful. It's still a of his collection. 270 Patel. Nissan, licensed product, Patel, barcode. But that is all for the R34's package. So let's open this beautiful car up. So here's the R34 out of the package. So let's take a look at it. So we have 10 spoke rims and dark gray. Made in Malaysia to the 9 Mattel. And it's a Skyline GR34. Hot wheels. Really sick green color. Fuel fill the door. Some uh, vents in the bonnet and some stripes too. Headlights are unfortunately not detailed. I really hate it when they do that. We have the grill and a big wide air dam. Some vents on the side. Long V indicators. Some more intakes on the front bumper. Same as the other side except without the fuel filler door. And the spoiler in the back. This is actually a uh, casting change, believe it or not, because when this car first came out in 2009, the spoiler was plastic, and this one is metal. Still, we have taillights are detail. That's good. And the brake light, Hot Wheels, Nissan, GTR, license plate, single exhaust port. It's right hand drive because JDM. So the interior is pretty detailed. I've taken one of these apart before, so. Also, we do have some more stripes going across the roof here. But that is it for the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34. So let's go on to the next and last car the Cars and Donuts McLaren P1. So let's take a look at it. A nice detailed pick of the P1 itself. We have some of the other cars in the background from the series, including the Julia, the 240, the Impreza, and the M1. I do have the Impreza and the M1. We also do have the RLC exclusive, the Copo Camaro. Cars and Donuts. Hot Wheels. Car Culture. One out of five for the Cars and Donuts series. Real Riders. Claren P1. Metal to metal. Back. Case coating. Hot Wheels. Car culture. Cars and donuts. For the adult collector, all the cars you can get in the series, including the P1, the Datsun 240Z, the Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA, the BMW M1 Pro Car, and the Subaru Impreza WRX. As I mentioned, I do have the M1 and the Subi. Each still separately subject to availability. June 17 Mattel, Cabriolet, GM, Nissan, Alfa Romeo, G Ready, Bilstein, those other trademarks. So hwcollectors.com and the barcode. But that is it for the package of the McLaren P1. So let's open the P1 up. So here's the McLaren P1 out of the package. So let's take a look at it. Five spoke rims on rubber tires. It's a metal base made in Thailand since a special car. 2016 Mattel. They're in P1. Really awesome looking orange color. I happen to say I just really love this paint color. And you have some stripes going across there. More stripes on the bonnet. You have some intakes on the bonnet. Headlights are detailed. Claren logo. Nice big wide air dam. 
same as the other side back we have a rear spoiler I have to say this is really a pet peeve of mine but the tail lights are not detailed it just irritates me so much I mean I mean usually if hobbies doesn't detail headlights they usually have like an outline of the tail light but no there's just nothing I mean slight outline but you can't really tell that there are supposed to be tail lights there it's so weird but moving on moving on we have the license plate I think that's the exhaust right there I think the interior it's pretty detailed another vent at the top and we can see a little bit of the engine bay but that is all for the McLaren P1 well guys that is all for today's quick unboxing video be sure to like comment and subscribe check on my channel and all the other videos that I post also be sure to follow me on social media on drive tribe Twitter and Instagram and well that is all for today's video guys and goodbye